Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. Guys, in today's video, we are going to cover everything related to the Cognizant Gen C aptitude examination, your current cutoffs and updates on your upcoming technical assessment. Make sure to watch the video till complete and as I will be explaining everything in very detail and I have read a lot of comments that I was receiving continuously from you guys. So all of those comments I will try to answer in this one single video. So before we start the video, if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel as I regularly post these kinds of helpful videos for all of you on a regular basis. And guys, if you haven't checked my Cognizant Prep playlist on my channel, make sure to check this playlist as it is a must check because uh, if you are also going to appear for your Gen C assessments, you will find all the actual questions related to your aptitude assessment, technical assessment and your interviews questions also in this playlist. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's get started and let's first of all see what we are going to discuss in today's video. So we are going to first of all going see the uh, latest updates and then we are going to understand the cognizant hiring process in general related to Gen C. Then four common scenarios I will explain. Then we are going to see the exam pattern and cutoff analysis, your technical assessment updates and tips for your upcoming rounds. Okay, basically what's in the next process we are going to see that and if you are also confused about the emails on some of you who haven't received any updates yet, don't worry, we will cover everything up in this video. So let's get started and let's first of all understand the Cognizant hiring process. Okay. So guys, see, Cognizant follows a three-step assessment process if someone is not aware. First assessment is your communication assessment, then comes your aptitude assessment. In aptitude assessment, you have two things, which is your quant and then gamified. Okay. I'm also going to explain you like how many amount of question will come and everything in the next slide. And then third assessment is your technical assessment and each of these steps comes through a separate email and all are mandatory to proceed to the final interview. You have to understand that these three are different examinations in itself. Don't get confused that your aptitude and technical are one round. They are individual rounds in itself. Okay. Hope so far it is clear. If you have any doubts at any point guys, please write down in the comment section. I will try to answer your doubts in the comment section. Next, see the now uh, four common scenarios. Okay, I have taken four common scenarios based on the doubts that you guys have got and you guys have asked over Insta DM and uh, comment section. First of all, uh, the four situations in that the first one is your condition one, which is like you have like registered for the examination. Okay, but you haven't received the communication assessment only. Okay, so for those types of candidates, I would like to say that don't panic as of now. There may be more phases that will happen for this examination as it has uh, like been noticed in the past also that what Cognizant usually does is like if for example if they are conducting the assessments this week then after one week which means next week nothing will happen then after that like uh, two weeks later another like you know phase of assessment will happen in that phase those who have registered now might get their assessment emails okay so that is why I am saying there may be more phases you might still receive your communication and other assessment emails in the next phases. Now coming to the condition two, which is your, you have got the communication assessment and you have appeared also, but you have not received the aptitude assessment. So guys, I am very sure that there might be like, there like might be three or 5% of these candidates because almost everyone has got the aptitude assessments. So if you are also falling under this category, then this could be a little bit concerning because usually aptitude follows quickly if you are shortlisted and you know, these three assessments are not individual elimination rounds in itself. Doesn't matter how you have performed in one round, you are definitely going to get the assessment of the next round because your overall result for interview shortlisting will depend on the average performance of all these three rounds. Okay. And for uh, like, you know, students or candidates who are in condition two, what I would recommend them is if you are also waiting for your aptitude, if you have completed your communication, then please do send a email to the support team asking for update. Okay. That you are in this situation and why you haven't received it. You will definitely get a reply from them. Condition three is you have got both the communication assessment and aptitude assessment, but no technical assessment. Now, this is a very common situation right now. Technical assessment emails are delayed this time and you will receive it soon. Don't worry about it. But again, if you are very like panicking, then what you can do is again, you can send an email to support team so that uh, like they can give you some update about it. Next is no interview emails yet. It's so, like, uh, because right now the assessments are only going here now. Okay. But if someone from the previous batch who is still waiting for the uh, interviews, so they should know that their final in shortlisting depends on the performance of all the assessments. So that is why I'm saying don't think that, you know, the individual, uh, individual assessments are not el elimination rounds so that you don't need to perform well. You need to perform well in order to get shortlisted for a good role during your interviews. Moving on. Now let's talk about the exam pattern and cutoff analysis for the like, you know, general examination, which has happened recently. So first thing is your aptitude test. Basically in your aptitude test, you had two sections. 
which was your first one was your quantitative aptitude which has like 30 questions and you have to solve them in 30 minutes now many of you were asking can we use pen and paper so guys officially it's a no to use pen and paper but yeah it is totally fine for basic calculation you can use you just have to take care that you don't move yourself too much little bit of movement is fine okay next coming to the game based aptitude so in game based aptitude you will have four sections which will have nine minutes each and in game based aptitude you will get questions like uh, deductive reasoning gap challenge motion challenge okay these types of questions will be asked and if you are not aware from where to prepare you can go and uh, like go to the playlist section of my channel check the cognizant prep playlist you will find all the actual questions that were asked in the assessment now talking about the expected cutoff for these assessments you have to solve 20 to 25 plus questions correctly in quant section for better chances for a higher role because you know there are three different roles uh, gen c gen c next and gen c pro so if you want to show, uh, land a gen c pro and gen c next role you need to like you know uh, solve this many amount of questions next coming to for game level uh, the more levels you clear the better or medium to easy difficulty basically the more levels you clear it is good for you and the difficulty of this assessment was medium to easy okay like your gamified aptitude section moving on now the update of technical assessment okay so guys as of now many candidates have not received the technical assessment email and i already know it this delay could be due to internal processing by the cognizant itself you don't have to worry about it based on the 20 uh, like previous batch which was uh, like the examination which has happened in the like you know last month for 2024 batch candidates emails for each round come separately over a span of days so if you haven't received your emails yet don't panic okay first of all i would just want to mention that and guys i just want one thing from you guys if you are watching this video and finding it helpful please do write the word helpful in the comment section and do write your current status that on what status you are have you completed your communication have you completed both communication and aptitude or are you waiting for your technical assessment or have you completed all the three assessments whatever your status is please do let me know with that we get to know how many students are in which step now some final tips for the students who are going to appear for the next rounds first thing is you have to keep checking your emails regularly including your spam folders because sometimes the emails goes to your spam folders also next is stay confident even if the others have received the updates before you because usually the updates comes in phases so it is very likely that uh, your friend might have received the update sooner but you are still waiting for it next is revise the core cs topics which is like oops dsa dbms computer network operating system these are very important when it comes to like your next uh, rounds which is interviews practice coding regularly not very tough ones but you know the basic ones which will be very important for you in like you know problem solving skills next up is your prepare for communication questions like tell, tell me about yourself team conflicts etc and like general hr based questions and in order to uh, like prepare for those questions what you need to do is you need to go to this playlist you will find actual interview experiences of selected candidates which i have uploaded in this playlist itself you can prepare from that okay and now is the correct time you have to prepare from now itself okay so guys i have like discussed everything in this video whichever was possible make sure that you like you know uh if you have any other doubts you put it in the comment section and don't distress if you are any of the four scenarios we discussed cognizant sends emails in batches and delays are a part of the process focus on your preparation and updates will come your way very soon best of luck for all the upcoming rounds and do like share and subscribe to the channel for more such updates you can even join me on telegram and follow me on instagram and you can even ask your customized queries over instagram dm too that's all for this video. Thanks for watching the video and I will see you next time.